Hello, we just released the brand new add-on iCars for car animation and simulation and we wanted to gift a free version for all of you. Links will be in the description. For now, I will leave you with Abdurrahman and he will explain to you how to use the free copy. So let's start. All right, we're going to have a quick look on the iCars add-on, the free pack. So how to add it to your Blender file is by going to edit, preferences, in the add-on section, go to install from disk and navigate where you have saved the free pack zip file. Double click it and with that you'll have iCars in your scene. So make sure you restart Blender before using the tool. So and now when we click the end button we can see this iCars panel in here which does have two sections the car simulation and the traffic which is locked. As you can see we have this append car box which says what car type do you want? Is it a normal car, a sport car, or a bus, or truck? Okay, and you can switch between a high poly one and a low poly one. So here you can switch between the two. So I'm going to stick with this car. Click a pin, and with that you will have a fully rigged car in your scene. You can enter the pose mode, and if you're an animator, you can animate it using the rig. So this is not what I want. I'm, I want to animate it using the built-in simulation tools in iCars. So I'm going to use the curve control system. Make sure you select the core then click the curve control system and as we can see we have some blue cores uh, cursing 40 km per hour and stuff like this and we have this UI which is divided into five sections so the first one is the general settings and the path settings the path is the path that the car is going to follow then we have the speed section the drift section we have the camera and the material so in the material section i want to change the car color and make it a little darker maybe something like this all right so then i'm going to the path settings and when clicking edit path i'll enter the edit mode so i'll go on top of view and deleting everything I'm going to the draw tool one draw a path that the car is going to move on so as you can see, we have this mess, which you can just fix it when exiting the edit path care. Nice. So as you can see in this area, the car is passing through the hill. How we can fix it is in the terrain section, you can just put your terrain collection. With that, it's going to interact with the terrain. So now when I hit this base bar, as you can see, the car is moving on the path I drew. As you can see, it's kind of slow, there's no drift, and it's kind of boring. So how we can make things more interesting? Uh, click the car, then go to the speed settings. And as you can see, we have the speed curve. So the way this speed curve works is basically based on the distance between the path we drew and the curve of the speed. So you can select this point, for example, then make sure the proportional editing is on, connected only, click G and Z. So the more distance between the path and the speed curve, the more speed you will have. So now, exiting the edit speed curve and starting the simulation, and as we can see, the car speeds up in this area. The car is not drifting, and in order to make it drift, all you have to do is to go back to the first frame, go to the drift section, click the edit drift curve, and this curve is going to control the rear of the car. So the path we drew at the beginning of the tutorial is the front of the car, and this one is the card rear. So we can select this one, move it to the left. As you can see, real time updating. All right, so now when we click this space bar, as you can see, the car drifts on this road we draw. Okay, so let's enter the render mode and have a quick look. So, what other settings do we have? So if the ghosts are annoying, you can control the spacing from here. Maybe disable them, okay? And we have the camera section where you have a built-in camera with your car. So click zero on the numpad or you can just go from here. Now when you click the space button, as you can see, the camera is following the car. You can switch the parent, so 
it's following the car better than before, as you can see. In the drift settings, so we have the side tilt limit and the front limit. So the front limit is going to basically control how much the car is going to raise its front above the ground when it's speeding up like this. So let me, let me just drop this down so you can see the differences. And we have the side tilt limit which controls, let me just exit the camera view, how much the car is going to tilt like this so the lower value is going to give lower tilt higher value is going to give more tilt and then what we have is the steer angle limit which controls the wheels maximum angle of rotation and that's the drift settings so if you're annoyed because of the trails that the car is drawing you can disable them just go to the first frame and in the drift settings, just disable it like this. And here we go. So that's it for this tutorial. It's very quick one and easy one. Don't forget to get the free pack link down in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.